Today we're going to celebrate the gift of life. We have a living donor who's donating her kidney to a family member and we are all gathering this morning to cheer her on, give her support, show her how much we admire her heroism. We're going to remove the left kidney from Anna Gomez. Uh, we'll do that laparoscopically, hand assisted. Uh, the total procedure takes about an hour and a half. Uh, about two hours of time she'll spend in the operating room. Oh, I like to give a life to somebody else. You know, I know it's for my son now, but you know, if I can do it, I, I believe uh, people have to, you know, try to help somebody else. My role is to do the donor surgery, that is to remove the kidney and give it to Dr. Bongu, my partner, who will then take that kidney, uh, prepare it, and then re-implant it in Anna's son. I'm one of the transplant surgeons. I'll be on the recipient side. What I'm going to be doing is once I receive the kidney from the donor side, I'm going to be implanting it in the recipient. We are really excited today to do our hero walk really to, uh, to draw attention to the wonderful thing that the donor is doing for the recipient. The great thing for the recipient is he gets a uh, very high quality kidney. He doesn't have to wait the five to six years that it would take to get a deceased donor kidney here in New Jersey. As a kidney transplant recipient myself, I feel it's really important to stress living donation. My sister 15 years ago donated her kidney to me. I remember the day as if it were yesterday and I am so excited that we have this going on right now. It's important to stress living donation because there's not enough living donors and you know people die on the wait list and I was one of the lucky ones who was able to get my kidney early on. This is one of the true selfless acts of humanity. It's an awesome thing and all living donors are seriously heroes in my eyes. RWJ Barnabas Health. Let's be healthy together.